Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Great Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Guys, we're gonna wrap up Chris's Beer Mail package. Today's beer comes from Fremont Brewing. This is their head full of dynamite. Uh, and it's considered, uh, I think, a New England style. When I went to Beer Advocate, they looks like they've done a ton of different hot varieties of this beer. And some of them have different ABVs. This one is 6.8 percent. But it doesn't have the hops used on this, so I don't have any idea what to look up on on Beer Advocate to find out, because there's a bunch of them that has 6.8 percent. So, and it doesn't have the hop right, so I don't know how you're supposed to know what you've got in your hands. If they, they either need to put the hop variety on the can or version 1, 2, 12, 25 to know what you have you have here, because there's there's a bunch of different hot varieties of this beer from these people. Uh, so I don't I don't know what to tell you guys. So basically, Beer Advocate is out of the game on this one because I don't know which hot variety that I have because it isn't written on the can. Uh, I looked and looked and looked and I don't see anything other than 6.8% and there's nothing written on what hops they've used in this particular version. So somebody needs to wake up, smell the roses. If you make that many different versions of this head full of dynamite, you need to put the hot varieties on here, or version what, I mean, how are you supposed to know? I, d I don't get that. On the bottom of it, it says it was packaged on March the 3rd of 2020, uh, but I have no idea what hot varieties they've used on this particular one, guys. It does not have it on the can, so. I must be smoking some good shit out there, huh? Imagine that. So, we're going to go away from Beer Advocate. Uh, Untapped has a head full of dynamite at 6.8%. Uh, they don't have a bunch of different ones listed as far as I can see. So, it is what it is. They do have a couple of different can pictures here. So, again, I don't know what to tell you there, guys, since they don't put the hot varieties or what version this is. How are you to know? I don't know either. I don't know what hot varieties they've used on this particular beer. So, it is what it is there, guys. I have no control over that. Their commercial description here, they say it's 85 IBUs on this, but I don't know if the hop changes any of that. Probably not, but not knowing the hops or variety, I, I cannot tell you. Head full of dynamite, HFOD, is an ongoing series of hazy IPAs, each one different from the one before. So how are you supposed to know what you got without them printing it on the can and what hop varieties they've used in this one? Doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> good, good stuff. I, I wish I could smoke some of that good stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, says here, friends bring happiness to your life. Best friends bring beer. Yeah. That's a fact. So, with that being said, not knowing the hot varieties that I have here in front of me, it is what it is here, guys. So, let's find out. Plain Jane Silver Can with a stick on wrap around the label. Into the glass we go, but I have no idea what hot varieties they've used in producing this beer. A little cloudy coming out, not super cloudy coming out of the can, but that may change once it's in the glass. A lot of breweries produce the uh, same series of beers with different hops in them, uh, but they'll usually tell you somewhere on the can what hop varieties they use for that particular beer. These guys are not doing that, so... About a finger and a half of head on that pour. It is very hazy, very cloudy, not super cloudy. Uh, it is a good looking beer. So, let's get it to the nose and see what we got. Very nice hop aroma, very citrusy, a little bit of pininess. Hints of oranges or tangerines. Maybe a hint of some tropical fruit notes. It smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Chris. It 
It's a tasty beer. I mean, the aroma is a little stronger than the taste. Pleasant beer for 6.8 percent. I don't think it's a world-class beer at this stage, but it may change as I sip on it and let it come up to room temperature. Very pleasant. A uh, little on the thin side. Alcohol is well hidden, though. I will say that. I wish they would put, since they're putting these labels on there, what hot variety they've used or what version this is so you would know what you're drinking. Maybe you like one hot variety better than the other or it's going to be more intense or more flavorful. Tell us on the can what version it is so we can look it up and see. We shouldn't have to look it up. It should be on the can. We use this hop and that hop so you know when you go to uh, like Beer Advocate and a lot of people don't use that site anymore. I thought, reluctantly I still am. Uh, but they've done a ton of different ones. Citra, Nazica, Eldorado, Equinod, Galaxy, and Simcoe. HBC 438, Azica, Citra, Mosaic, Strata, Chinook, Version 11, Citra, Idaho, Cashmere, Equinox, Lotus. I mean, there's just so many different varieties of this particular, this one particular beer. And the, and the ABV changes, I mean, from 7 point something all the way down to 6 point something. So I don't have any idea what's in front of me, guys. I have no idea what version or what hot varieties they've used in this one. So let's get the back end pour, swirl it around, and make sure we get everything out of the bottom here. Other than the, maybe the labels are different, but not knowing, I don't know. I can't tell you. I mean, I'm in the dark here, guys. So. Is what it is. So we're gonna we're gonna sip on it. I didn't see any major change in appearance or any big chunks coming out of the bottom of the can. Uh, let's let it warm up. It's right out of the fridge and sip on it, and we'll come back and give it a green. All right, guys, I'm back. Messing it up for a while. The only plus I got about the, these guys at uh, Fremont Brewing, they're not putting what version or what hops they've used in it, and when they make 10, 15 different versions. With the same name, with different hops, they need to tell you what version. These guys are out of Washington State. They need to do something different with their labels. They need to tell you what hops they're using or put a version to it or something. That's the only plus I've got. This is a little thinner uh, for 6.8, almost 7% than I'm used to drinking it in this ABV range. But it is a tasty beer, but it's not world class or outstanding to me, guys. Probably not wouldn't buy this beer because of the lack of information on it and being a little thinner than I, what I think, my just my opinion, what I think it should taste like. So uh, They are giving us ABV and they are giving us a date, but uh, when they're going to make 15 different versions of this and not tell us what hops they've used in this one, uh, we need more information there, guys. Uh, so uh, that's just my opinion, though, guys. Uh, they need to tell us a little bit more when they're making that many different versions of it with different ABVs. If they all are the same ABVs, maybe you can narrow it down by the label if you went and searched and tried to find which label you had and all that, but you shouldn't have to do that. They should say, oh, if we're making 15 different versions of this, this one is the Mosaic or the uh, Simcoe or whatever, or put a version to it so you'll know what you're picking up. And if it's version one and it has this hop, it's real easy to find out. But with that lack of information, uh, is what it is. Final choke. It is a well made beer. The alcohol is very well hidden for a 6.8 percenter. But I'd like to know what hops was used in this beer if they're making 15 different versions of it because I don't know what I have here. I don't know what hops they've used, guys. So uh, that's my only plus here, guys. Uh, a little thinner and lack of information. Uh, to me, guys, B plus. Uh, that's where I'm going to have to put this 88 from me. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 88. So we're in agreement. Very good beer. 
and over to Untap, they have it at 3.97, also in the B-plus range. It's, a, it's unanimous, it's a B-plus beer, uh, and I don't know if the, if the other guys are thinking the same way that I am. It's a lack of information, not knowing what hop they've used, with them producing that many beers with the same name. Uh, has anything to do with it or not? But uh, I want to see that. If you're gonna, if you only made one, uh, it'd be real hard to figure out which one you had. When they do 15 different versions of it, with all having different hot profiles and not having on um, the the label somewhere, it's really hard to tell what you've got. Especially when they've got 10 that has 6.8 percent, uh, like this one does. And you you don't have any idea of what you've got or what hop tape you use. So that's that's the biggest bus anyway. But anyway, if you had full head full of dynamite from Fremont Brewing, I don't know how you're going to determine which one you had or what hops they've used in this particular one. But uh, it is what it is. Like I said, this wraps up the beer mail package that Chris sent me. Chris, thanks a bunch. I do appreciate it, sir. If you've had this one, like I said, don't know how you're going to determine which hop variety you've got. And I just dropped the remote. <laughs> anyway, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Tell me meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.